Hey home bakers, it's Jack here at bakewithjack.co.uk where I bring your weekly bread making tip every single Thursday. This week I want to talk to you about pre-ferments. A pre-ferment. Which sounds like a complicated thing, but in reality it is not. Now a pre-ferment, what it is, is essentially a mix of flour, water and a little bit of yeast that you leave on the side for some time. And then you add it to your bread recipe and it makes it wicked, right? Pre-ferments go by the name of biga in uh, Italy, Polish in uh, France, I believe. I think that's right. You know when you doubt yourself? Yeah, French, France, Polish. Or here in England, sponge. We call it a sponge. Mix up a sponge. That's what we call it. Uh, that's what pre-ferment is, right? And to give you an example of what's going on, I first have to speak about resting time. When your dough rests, and I did a video on this before, you create amazing flavour, amazing structure and texture thanks to the gluten. And so, in a pre-ferment, you're making time. Time makes flavour, structure and texture. Time does. You do a little bit when you're needing, but the rest is done by the magic of time. And this cannot be replaced by anything. You can't take the time out of the recipe and put something else in. It doesn't work. So that's what happens when the dough rests. And the longer it rests for, the better. And the, but there comes an issue if you leave it too long, but I spoke about that before and this for another time anyway. So the pre-ferment is a mix. Flour, a little tiny bit of yeast, and water develop an amazing flavour and amazing texture over a period of time that you add to your dough and it makes it wonderful. Okay? So, for example, when you make a ciabatta, you make a real sloppy mix with flour and water and a little touch of yeast, and this develops loads of, develops the gluten really well and makes it real extendable, real elastic -y, right? And that is perfect because the dough, in the end, when you add that pre-ferment to the dough and make the whole dough, is gonna be really super sloppy and it's gonna wanna be really stretchy so you get those big holes and big bubbles and nice flavor two as a bonus and as an example if you want to have a go it's really not a big deal you just mix some stuff up in a bowl and leave it on the side till tomorrow and then you make your dough as normal i did a recipe using the ciabatta principle to make a super focaccia and i called it the super focaccia mm, yeah because it is super and it's on my blog if you want to go and have a look i'll put a link here somewhere it's on my blog and you can have a go at the super focaccia if you want to it's absolutely wonderful, real nice texture, real nice flavour, all down to time. And all that time is locked in to your pre-ferment, or your beaker, or your poolish, or your sponge. Whatever you want to call it, it's a pre-ferment. It makes it delicious, and it makes a wonderful texture and structure. And this has been me, Jack, at Bake With Jack. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much for coming and watching my videos every single Thursday. If you've got a question of your own, please pop it in here. Send me some sort of something, tweet, Facebook message, Instagram message, put me in your story, whatever you like. Make sure I hear it and I'll get onto it. And I will see you next week.